okay so in the last class we learned about uh, parameter passing techniques first technique i hope you all can see the screen right so we uh, we already learned about the first technique that is about call by value and we have uh, learned what actually this call by value is like uh, the actual arguments will be copied into the formal arguments and we have also observed in the program that any changes if you do in the formal arguments will not affect your actual arguments i hope you all are clear with that program uh, for your reference let me open that program uh, this is the program we all we learned in the last class uh, what we have learned here is we have asked the user to enter two values a and b and we have uh, displayed the values before swapping and we performed a function call called change function where the actual values of a and b will be copied into x and y right and we are making changes in this x and y but the, what we have observed here is any changes that you are doing in this x and y are not reflecting the values of a and b why because if you execute this program and it will be asking the values of a and b i am giving the same old values of 10 and 5 and a value will be 10 and b value will be 5 now in the change function the values are swapped but in the main function the original values of a and b are uh, remaining same what is the reason behind this one is any changes because we are just copying the value of a to x and the value of b to y so what can we conclude from this one is any changes that you are doing in a and b will not that means any changes that you do in the formal arguments will not reflect your actual arguments that is what we learned in the last class right now we'll see the second cat type that is call by reference okay so that we'll see today the second type call by reference and it is also called as pass by reference, pass by address. Got it all of you? Now here what happens is, uh, in, in the call by value, we are actually copying the values of actual arguments to the formal arguments. But here, in the call by reference, instead of passing the values, what happens is, the address of the variable will be passed. What do you mean by address is, Listen carefully. Uh, whenever uh, you are using, uh, let me con let let us consider. You are saying any variable a. Then what happens is for that variable a, uh, memory will be allocated, right? A memory will be allocated for that variable, and in that memory, uh, value will be stored like uh, fifty. Whatever value you give, that value will be stored in that memory. Let us consider the value is 50 and for this memory uh, one uh, for one address will be allocated let us find that address is 202 are you understanding what i'm speaking any variable if you give any variable if you ask the user to enter the value that value will be stored in some memory let us consider this is the memory location of that variable and that memory location that variable memory location address let us consider 2002 this is the random value what i have taken there is no uh, case like always it will be 202. Any address can be given. For your understanding, I have given the address as 2002. Similarly, if you give any uh, variable like B, then what happens? Again for B, one more memory location will be created. And in that memory location, whatever value you give, that will be copied. And let us consider the value is 4002. Any name, any address can be considered for our example. Now, in call by value, what happened? We have created two variables, right? X and Y. Do you, re uh, do you remember all of you? In the, the actual variables are A and B. The formal arguments are X and Y. Now, in X, whenever you are saying X and Y, in call by value, what happens? Again, a memory location will be created, right? And in that memory location, actual value, what happens? 10 value will be copied into X and again, and again in y b value will be copied that is your 5 same thing is done this is done in call by value are you understanding actual values of uh, arguments whatever actual arguments we have that will be simply copied into your formal argument that is 10 and 5 
are you understanding now in callway reference what happens is here you need to understand the values will not be copied here the address not done all of you address of actual arguments will be passed to formal arguments here values will be passed here in case of your uh, reference address will be passed what do you mean by address address is nothing but the memory address whatever address we have so what happens the same thing if you copy here uh, we'll have again four variables we are considering in our program a b x y we are considering right now we are talking about the same thing A will be having one memory location. B will be having one memory. Whenever you create any variable, one memory location will be automatically created. Okay. Now let us come. The address of A is uh, like the same old address, two thousand two, and the address of B is. The address of B is let us consider uh, what is that address? Let us consider four thousand two, and the address of X let us consider some one thousand. Any address can be considered, and let us consider the address of Y is two hundred. Any no, some random address. Now what happens if you create like this? In this case, the values will be copied, but in this case, the address of A will be copied into X. What is the address of A? Two thousand two. And what is the address of B? What is the address of B? Four thousand two. So you will be getting in this place four thousand two. Are you understanding what I am doing? In case of call by values, just the values will be copied. But in case of call by reference, the address of the actual arguments will be passed. In the address of the actual arguments will be passed uh, into the formal arguments. Okay, now let us see. Is this clear to all of you? What actually we are doing? The address of the actual argument will pass to the uh, formal arguments as the value. Are you understanding? So let us see the coding part of this one. How we are doing? Is this logic? Is this uh, uh, memory allocation? Memory? How the data will be stored? Is clear to all of you? Right. Now I will show you the coding part. What we need to do actually. So let us use the same old code here. Let us use the same old code here. What we have used in the last class. Now in the last class we have used uh, this main method, uh, and here we ask the user to enter a and b values, and we have stored the values in a and b. Up to here, it is clear, and we ask the and we try to display the values of a and b. And now here we are calling we are calling a function called chain. But if you simply write a, then what happens? It will send the value of a. But here you want to send the address of a. So always remember whenever you want to send any address of the a. A stands for value of a. But if you want to send the Address of A, then you need to give ampersand A. Ampersand A stands for address of A. Remember all of you. A stands for just the value of A, and ampersand of A stands for address of A. Okay. So if you see this program. So we want to send the address of A. So normal A, whatever we have, we should not write like A and B. We need to write ampersand A and ampersand B. Why we are writing ampersand A and ampersand B? Because we want to send the address of A and B. Now where we want to store this address of A and B in X and Y. But normally, if you say int X, normal variable of int x. then x is capable of storing a value but here x we want to store the address of a 
n should not be a normal variable we want to convert that one into a variable which stores the address i'll repeat once again listen carefully if you say x then it is capable of storing value but if you want x to be uh, storing the address then you need to represent that one as star x that means we are converting that one into a pointer variable we will be learning in detail about pointers but for the time being understand here if you are writing in text that means x is capable of storing a value normal value or you can say integer value but if you are writing in star x then x is capable of storing address of a variable and that variable should be of integer data type listen carefully what i am telling if you de declare in text then x is capable of storing integer value but if you are writing in star x what do you mean by that one x is not a normal variable it is a pointer variable it is capable of storing the address of another variable and that another variable should be of integer data type for all of you now how we will convert our program i'll show you how we can convert our program we can convert our program because x we want to store an address of a variable and a is of integer data type so this should be declared as int only and x should be preceded by star x similarly y will be holding a an address of b and b is of integer data type so this should be declared as n and then we need to write this one as star are you understanding what i am doing here x is declared as you now converted as star x and y is converted as star y why because x is holding the address of a and y is holding the address of b got it all of you understood now you need to perform the uh, uh now you need to perform the swapping operation how you can perform this swap operation it is very simple everything will be converted to star declare it because we are not working with the normal variables we are working with pointer variables the way it will be storing the address simply put in star x in star uh, just we are because everything is taking the address not the value right now if you write like this what happens if you write like this what happens then you are trying to display the values of a and b and if you write here you need to put star x and you need to put star y everything is converted as a pointer variable got it all of you understood now let us go to our program here how this will be converted see here this code you keep it in your mind all of you let us see here now whatever value of a is there address of a in this code that is copied into address of a will be copied into x so 2002 is copied into x and address of b according to our code here address of b is copied into what is that one our by so 4002 address of b is copied into by now what we have done we have performed star t equal to star x what do you mean by that one whenever you are writing like this that means any value that is stored in this location that will be copied into t that means here we will be creating one more variable called t and for that t what value will be stored in that t we are telling t equal to star t equal to star x that means in this t star x is nothing but in this memory location of x what is the memory location of x 2002 in 2002 whatever value is there that will be copied into your t so what is that that will be copied into t what is that okay are you understanding now star x equal to star y that means star x is nothing but 2002 is referring to this memory location this value this value will be changed to your star y what is the star y value 4002 you have 10 value sorry this is 5 for our reference then this 10 value will be changed to this 5 value so you will get this 5 value got it then 
you will have star y will be copied with the t uh, uh, one thing here this is not star you can directly take a t value directly you can consider it as a t value okay now what is there in t 10 10 is copied into your star y that means star y is 4002 in 4002 memory location you will be getting the value what is stored in your t what is stored in t 10 so that will be stored in 10 got it now if you try to display the values of x and y star x is nothing but 2002 star x then you will get 5 and then star y means 4002 location whatever value you have that will be displayed that is 10 so if you run this program let us run this program and check what output you get okay you have any doubts uh, here it is one and this okay star x is nothing but value normally if you are writing star x is nothing but in x x consists of address at that address whatever value you have that will be printed so directly you can write percentage d no no problem in that remember at the time of declaration if you are writing like this it is nothing but you are telling x is capable of storing an address but if you are directly using without any declaration if you are directly writing star x it is nothing but x will be holding some address in that address whatever value is there that will be considered okay so let us run this program if any errors are there that will be displayed so what is the error type mismatch in parameter type mismatch both are in right okay 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 so here we need to put function prototype in star in star okay one more error we have okay this is not star t this is normal t. no errors are there alt f9 control f9 it is asking us to enter the values of a and b and then if you check the output observe here there is a change in a and b values in the swap in the change function and also in the main function also why why there is a change because the original values of a and b is also changed why because we are working with the memory address so you can note down one more point here any changes in the formal arguments will affect your actual arguments that is your second point Isn't it or not? Any changes in your actual argument will affect your formal arguments also. Did you observe that difference all of you? Did you observe the difference here? Before swapping 10 and 5, after swapping also, after swapping it is 5 and 10. Even if you are going to the main function also, the swapped values are retaining. Why? Because any we are working with the address. So any changes you do in your, uh, what is that one? Uh, uh, formal arguments as we are working with the address that will affect your actual arguments also. I hope this is clear to you all. Is this clear uh, how the actual arguments and formal arguments are uh, affecting uh, with the change of the formal arguments? I'll explain one more time. Listen carefully. This value is earlier 10 and this value is uh, earlier 50, uh, 5. Listen carefully. Now, in the chain, whenever you are calling the change function, address of A is sent to X. That means 2002 is sent here. And address of B is sent to uh, Y. That means uh, here we are sending, here we are sending, is copied into Y. That is clear to all of you. Now, in the, uh, what is that one, our uh, function, I'll show you that code also, so that uh, it will be clear to you all. Now, what we are doing, we are taking a new variable called t, and that t will be holding the star x. What do you mean by star x? Can you tell me, what do you mean by star x? What do you mean by star x? Point at, at the time of declaration, if you are writing, it is nothing but it is a pointer variable. But normally, if you write star x, without at the not at the time of declaration, normally if you write star x, what do you mean by that one? 
it is nothing but value at memory x are you understanding what you mean by that one is we need to create one more variable called t i'll write here and now t will be holding what value see this code t will be holding what value star x what do you mean by star x x is nothing but 2002 and in 2002 what is the value stored that is 10 so t will be now holding the value of 10 that is the meaning of that got it all of you now after that star x equal to star y what do you mean by star x star x is nothing but memory location at x what is that 2002 that means in 2002 this location we want to store that one with star y. What is star y? That means 4002 memory location. What is value you have that you want to store here? So this will be changed to 5 now. Okay. Now coming to the next statement. Star y equal to t. What do you mean by star y? That means 4002 location. You want to store in this location the t value. What is t value? 10. So you want to store this one with the 10. Now, what happens with this manipulation? We are changing the original values of A and B also. Why? Because we are working with the point. Why? Because we are working with the addresses. Got it? So, that's why in our program, if you see, uh, once you check this output, even the before A value, B value is 10 and 5, it, the values are swapped in the change function and also in the main function. Okay, so that's why we have to make one more point. Changes in the formal arguments will affect the actual arguments. But whereas coming to the call by value, whatever changes you do, that will be affected only to the formal argument that will not be affected to the actual arguments. But whereas coming to the call by reference, any changes you do in your formal arguments will affect your actual arguments also. Why? Because we are working with the address. Got it? I hope you all are clear with this concept. Call by reference. So these are the two techniques we have as part of parameter passing techniques. Call by value and call by reference. I hope you all are clear with this concept. 